Oh, Heavenly Father, yes, God. once again, I come to you thanking you for everything, Lord, for everything that you have done for me, yes, Lord. dear Lord, in my lifetime. You've been so good to me, dear Lord, better than I've been to myself. Yes. Oh, Heavenly Father, I ask you, dear Lord, to come and let your Holy Spirit take over this situation. Yeah. Subject 
The storms of life. The, the storms of life. No one is exempt from the storms of life. The question I pose to you, when the storms are raging in your life, what will you do? Yeah, yeah. Especially when Jesus leads you into the storm. Right. Sometimes Jesus will lead us in the storm, but most of the time we'll lead ourselves in the storm. Right. Storms will come into everybody's lives, no matter who we are. I say, storms will come into everybody's lives. Yeah. No matter who we are. And in this passage, I see three things. The first one is that Jesus led them in the storm. I said that because Jesus said, let us go until the other side. Jesus knew where the storm was. He knew when the storm would start. He knew how severe the storm would get. Yeah. Yeah. And he knew how to come in the storm. Yeah. 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 Jesus leads us in the storm. Well. But sometimes we lead our own self in the storm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we try to create storms in other people's lives. Yeah. Yeah. Just the other day I was on a phone conference and uh I kind of got the acting of food, trying to create a storm. But the other people that I was on the conference with, they went to God. And God said, shut up and be still. So we can't uh, create storms for other people. But this is Jesus, he led his disciples into the storm. Yeah. I want to go back uh, and just update what was going on. So Jesus is on the scene. He gets baptized by John the Baptist. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right. This is chapter 1. That's right. Then the Holy Spirit leads him to the wilderness uh -huh. to be tempted by Satan 40 yeah. days and 40 nights. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Word. Yeah. Word. Then after he accomplished that, he goes to the party, enter into the synagogue. Wow. And there are a man with an evil spirit. Yeah. Yeah. He's teaching and preaching in the synagogue. Right, right. And there's a man with an evil spirit right. telling Jesus, leave us alone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Jesus tells him the spirit, come out of him. Yeah. And the spirit immediately yeah. comes out. Yeah. And he goes on. He's teaching and he's healing. Yes, sir. He goes to Peter's mother's house. Well, yeah. Before we get done, he picks up the disciples, four disciples. Peter and Andrew, mm -hmm. which yeah. were fishmen, James and John. Yeah. All he said, just follow me. Yeah. And he drops everything and follow him. Amen. Sometimes in our life, when Jesus said, follow me, we got to drop everything. Yes, sir. And follow him. Yes, but most of the time, we don't want to drop what we're doing yes, and follow him. Yes. We want to keep on doing the same thing that we've been yes, doing. Yes, we want to just stay in the boat. Yes. Like Pastor Green Flag. Yes. Then after that, he heals a man with leprosy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Then we get in chapter 2. He heals a prayer leaf that his friend brought him to him. This house where he was again uh -huh. teaching. Yeah. Yeah. It was so crowded that they had to go on the rooftop and lower him down from the roof. Uh -huh. And by his friend's faith, right. yes. the man uh -huh. was healed. Right. Yeah. 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 How many people can be healed by our faith today? Yeah. Yeah. Do we have that much faith yeah. that he would heal yeah. our brother? Yeah. Yeah. Do we have Reverend Hawkins. Yeah. 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 Reverend Hawkins is standing in need of prayer. He's in need of healing right now. Yeah. Yeah. But it's going to take our faith yeah. in God yeah. for God to heal. Come on. Yeah. Amen. 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 And then we get into chapter 3. 
he goes back to the synagogue and he heals a man with a withered hand. Yeah. And then that we go on, he picks up his disciples. Yeah. He gets all 12 of them. And he's teaching and he's healing. Oh, he's teaching and he's healing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's teaching them in prayer. And as the evening comes, Jesus said, let's go to the other side. Yeah. Jesus get on the boat. Well, <clears throat> as he was. And I was trying to uh, ponder on what that as he was meant. And I had to read back what it meant and I found out he was doing the same thing on the boat that we were doing on land. He was still teaching. Yeah. yeah. Right. And in the midst of it, as he goes out, a big storm arose. And the wind and the wind was so furious. It was raging. And the disciples, they get scared. Just like most of us today. <clears throat> when the storm hit us. Yes, we get so scared that we don't know what to do. Yeah. 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 But it was Come all in Jesus' plan. Come on. Just like God led the children of Israel to the Red Sea. Yeah. And here Jesus led them out of the sea to the storm. Just as God let the children of Israel walk through the Red Sea on dry land, we see here that Jesus got a plan to save them on the boat. Yeah. 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 Sometimes God will lead us into a storm yeah. just to test our faith. Yeah. Yeah. And what we're going to do when God is testing our faith yeah. is we're going to get nervous or we're just going to start acting a fool or we're just going to try to see, are we going to wear the storm by ourselves, or are we going to get Jesus' help? Amen. But Jesus was asleep. They say he went down in the boat, and he went to sleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the next thing I see. Jesus wasn't even worried about the storm. <laughs> because he was asleep. And as I read some scripture, it says, God never sleeps a slumber. Mm -hmm. But it seems here that Jesus went to sleep. And he God. Yeah. Yeah. But that's a deity. He does not sleep. Yes, sir. Yeah. But the human part of it is humanity. He just like us. Right. The man was tired. Oh, yeah. He been healing folks. He been swallowed by the multitude. Yeah. Yeah. He been preaching and teaching. Yeah. Yeah. He tired. So he went to sleep. Yeah. But he wasn't worried about the storm because he was in control of the storm. By the fact he caused the storm to happen. Yeah. So what did the disciples do? They go and wake him up. Wow. Master, did you care that we parry? And you know, uh, I get kind of frustrated myself when somebody wake me up. <laughs> Especially when I'm having one of them good dreams. <laughs> you know, it's funny how you have the bad dreams and you know, you can wake up and then when you go back to sleep, you go back to the same spot. <laughs> yeah. But when you have them good dreams, you can't go back to them. <laughs> Especially when you have a dream about Beyonce. <laughs>
right back to it. <laughs> Good patient. I can't go know how about how hard I try. And I perceived that Jesus, just like you, he probably was dreaming too. And when he awoke, he was kind of angry. And he got up and told the wind, peace, be still. Yeah. Yes, sir. He rebuked the wind and told the wind, wave, peace, be still. Yeah. And this is not going to a third one, that Jesus will calm the storm. Yes, sir. How many of us will let Jesus calm the storm? Yes, sir. Jesus got up. It reminded me of my grandmother. When she sitting there and her fell asleep, when we was little, watching the stories, she done went through as the world turned. <laughs> you know, the secret storm, yeah. the edge of night. Now she done nodded back in her chair like this here and went to sleep. And we supposed to be sitting there and watching our cartoon, me and Gabriel, and Bobby, and we acting up. And she got to wake up out of sleep, like Jesus. And she'll say, cut it out. Sit down and be still. That what Jesus did with the wind. Right, right. Cut it out. And told the wave, sit down and be still. Yeah. 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 Cut it out. Yeah. Sit down and be still. Yeah. Cut it out. Yeah. Sit down yeah. and be still. Yeah. Jesus calmed the storm by just saying, cut it out. Sit down and be still. Right. And that's how it is with the storms of life. Yeah. The storms of life